adding a privacy policy and terms of use agreement to your Thinkific online school. Now, if you turn on your privacy policy and terms of use agreement, what this basically does is when a student signs up to your Thinkific school for the first time, they will be required to tick the box that says that they agree to your terms of use and your privacy policy. Now, in terms of what you put in these boxes, this is, of course, very um, uh, determinant on the country that you're in, the state that you're in, the industry that you work in, any legal requirements that need to be considered around those different factors. I would highly recommend that when you are creating the terms of use for your school, which you get to decide what they are, it's your business, it's your school, you are the one who decides what your terms of use and your privacy policies are, I would highly recommend that you get a legal professional to go through that um, and authorize what you put in that. You, I cannot give advice on what should go in these, I am not a legal professional, um, nor do I know your business, your country, and your state regulations either. So please do go and get that checked out. But in terms of what sort of stuff you might include in a terms of use policy, for me, I include things like how they may or may not be able to use the course content, intellectual property, copyrights, and things like that, um, refund policies, my cancellation policies, and so on. They're the kind of things that I include in mine. Now, again, different countries have different rules around cancellations, refund policies and things like that. So please, again, go and check with a legal professional in terms of what to put in here. Now, if you are one of my students in my How to Create Profitable Online Courses course, or if you are one of my clients on my course creation setup services, I do actually share my terms of use with you. Um, they do not cover you legally if you have access to those, um, but they are simply there to show you what sort of things I include in mine so that you can then go and discuss what your version of that would need to be in your particular instances. So if you would like to turn on the box that um, makes people sign up and agree to your terms of use and your privacy policy when they sign up to your school, um, which I would strongly recommend you do, um, then all you need to do is log into your Thinkific account, go to your settings option on the left-hand menu, click on orders and accounts, and then simply tick the box for users must agree to your privacy policy, and you paste your privacy policy in there. And if you want them to agree to your terms of use, tick the box and paste it in there. Now, when your students sign up to your school, if you've done that, it will say, do you agree to our terms of use? And there's a little box that they have to tick. Um, they can click on that terms of use and it will redirect them to that policy that shows up there. Now, this um, honestly has been an extremely valuable exercise for me because when they tick that box, they are actually legally accepting those terms of use. So if, for instance, instance you have um, a policy in your I know your refunds um, in your terms of use um, you clearly state that you do not do refunds um, I don't know I'm giving an example only um, and somebody comes back to you and says well I want a refund you can actually go back and say well on this day at this time you ticked the box that you agree to our terms of use which clearly state um, that there are no refunds available so that's just an example there of how it can really cover your butt um, it can cover you legally and that's why you should really take this bit seriously in terms of getting the legal advice about the content that's included inside your privacy policy in terms of use to make sure that um, also you're not actually um, putting any policies in place that are not um, actually um, legal within your country or your region. So there we go. That is your privacy policy terms of use and where to find them, where to add them in Thinkific and what it does when you turn it on.